one of the things that is so important for us to communicate is that violence doesn't stop, abuse and assault and harassment doesn't stop, trauma and victimization doesn't stop. Hi everybody, this is Matt Weintro, Bucks County's District Attorney. Today I have the pleasure of being joined by Mandy Mundy, who's the Senior Director of Programs and Services at Network of Victim Assistance, or NOVA, which is an organization here in Bucks County that's very near and dear to my heart. Thank you for joining us today, Mandy. Thank you for having me, Matt. And I know that it's really important for us to make sure that people out there know that whether we're, it's during this COVID crisis or frankly at all times, that NOVA is there to help people in crisis and victims of crimes. I think that's important for people to understand that. But can you tell us what some of the acute issues are that you've seen as a result of this COVID crisis? Yes, um, so thank you, Matt. And, and for anyone who's not familiar with NOVA, um, NOVA is the Network of Victim Assistance. We are the Comprehensive Crime Victim Service Agency for Bucks County. And what that means is that we provide um, support, intervention, services, and prevention for victims of all types of violent crime, sexual assault, um, human trafficking, burglaries, robberies, homicides, DUI crashes, any type of crime that can occur within or outside of a pandemic like we're in right now. Um, and when we are talking about our current times, one of the things that is so important for us to communicate to our community at large is that violence doesn't stop, abuse and assault and harassment doesn't stop, trauma and victimization doesn't stop. In fact, sometimes because of isolation, because of additional stressors in the family, we may see crimes like child abuse, um, sexual material of children like child pornography, um, human trafficking, um, domestic violence and other types of crime really even increasing. But along with that increase, victims feel isolated. They feel shut off, cut off, and may not know that in times of COVID-19 that NOVA services are still up, running, and available for people. Well, I'd love to put in a plug for NOVA right now. I've worked with NOVA for the 27 years that I've been in law enforcement. You're a wonderful agency and needed now more than ever because of this time of crisis, but you're always there when we need you. Can you give us some of the resources that people may be able to contact you through? Yes, um, I wanna talk about the, the how to contact us and um, what those services are that you can contact us for. Right. So anybody who's looking to set up services, um, seek support through a, a warm line or talk to a counselor can contact our 1-800 hotline number that I know that you'll post um, for, for viewers. Um, and those services that people can contact us for that we are still providing include um, sexual assault exams in the hospitals. Our sexual assault nurse examiners are essential employees and are working around the clock when needed to provide a rape exam to any victim of sexual assault who may seek medical treatment after a sexual assault. Um, if you're concerned about going to the hospital during this time, we completely understand that. Please call our hotline first. We can talk you through the process of pre presenting or going to an emergency room for a scene exam and how to triage the, the lines that may be there. Um, we also are still offering all of our counseling services. We know during this time, people who have experienced abuse or victimization um, need connections. They need somebody to talk to. It is important we continue to build on coping skills and resiliency. And so our counseling is all happening through telehealth virtually. So know that our counselors are available for you through that hotline. Our advocates are still working within our criminal justice system to help notify victims if there are, um, if there are offenders being released from prison or if there are court case information that they need to know about. So our advocates are still here. Our Children's Advocacy Center for Victims of Child Abuse is still providing emergency services. And of course, NOVA is very focused on prevention, education, outreach. We know during this time, it's bystanders and community members and the next door neighbor and the karate coach who's doing virtual lessons or the singing coach who's doing virtual lessons who might see signs and symptoms of child abuse while they're providing those in-home services. 
even virtually. So reaching out and encouraging mandate reporters to still make those reports and still be a support for children. So let me uh, try to summarize. You've given us a, gr a lot of great information here. Uh, obviously, if somebody had prior trauma and they, uh, your, your services are uninterrupted, you are essential. Uh, people can contact you via the hotline. If somebody needs to be seen at the hospital for a sexual assault exam, they still can get that. Uh, and you are, you are encouraging people to continue to use Childline, which I think we'll put on the screen. If you see something, say something. Let us be the judge of whether it's criminal or not, or on the side of caution. And you've also, I think, said that we have our Child Advocacy, advocacy Center which is still up and running, I believe, by appointment for emergencies. Uh, but the bottom line is, if somebody out there is experiencing trauma as a victim or they've witnessed trauma, they should take advantage of NOVA services or they should report it. Absolutely. That is a great bottom line, Matt. And know that the resources are here for, for anybody who needs them. Um, we, are, we have not shut down. Okay. So NOVA was here long before COVID came along. You're here to help us get through this crisis, and you'll be here long okay. after this crisis is over. Yeah. I really appreciate you, you coming on with me and making sure that the public knows all of the wonderful ways that NOVA supports them during this time of crisis and before as well as after. So this has been Matt Weintraub, Bucks County's District Attorney. I've been joined by Mandy Mundy, who's the Senior Director of Programs and Services at NOVA. Uh, organization that's very dear to all of us here in Bucks County. Thank you for joining us, Mandy. I appreciate you taking some time today. And uh, be safe and be well.